Hey photo friends, Phil and Will here answering your photography questions. We got one from our community from Belinda asking, when people ask for prints of photos, how much do you charge? I know it depends on where you're ordering from and the size of the print, but not sure where to start. Uh, we had someone who commented saying that they uh, have heard that people typically mark up the, the cost of the print three to seven times the cost of the price of that print. Sure. And that might be a good ballpark to start from, but I think there's other things you have to take into account. So, Will, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, I have a very, like, I, th I think I think having a blanket, like, I just charge three times whatever the cost of the print is fine. Like, and if that works for your area, if people are selling prints or you have competitors that are selling around the same cost, like, sure. That's a very easy blanket way. Um, I've gotten a little more technical with this over the years, um, so see if you, you can bear with me, but... Uh, the idea is um, understanding what you want your hourly rate to be as far mm -hmm. as like work goes. Because printing, you know, editing a photo and then printing it by sending it somewhere, taking it somewhere, picking it up, packaging it, delivering it. This is all things that take time. Like this takes mm -hmm. work for you. Yeah. So how long does that take you to do? Now, maybe just as simple as like editing it in like 10 minutes ordering it online and then having it shipped to your customer. That took you all of 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, so this may not work out for you as far as like trying to make more money, you kind of have to find a balance. But for me, typically, I get mine printed at a physical place where I can go in and see them and check them out. And that takes me about an hour to edit, another you know, 15, 20 minutes to drive there, I have to wait for them to print it, I go over it with them, I make sure it's good, I package it, I send it. So I'm looking at like two hours, three hours of work um, and I want to charge my hourly rate for that because I'm taking time away from other jobs. Mm -hmm. So then I add that cost. Say I want to get paid $50 an hour. I add that cost to the cost of the print, and that's how much I charge for the print. So it kind of just depends on how, yeah. you, how, you, how you want to work it out, how much time you're spending on it. Um, like I said, it might just be easier as a beginner to just start off like three times the cost of it. I think, yeah, I think that's the hard part is it, I think over time you can kind of figure it out because... If you're doing, say you're in that situation where maybe you've edited all the photos already, so right. it's just a decision of your client wants the digital files versus you printing it out for them, and then how much are you charging for the print? And if you're doing, you know, five prints versus, or say you're doing just one print versus ten prints, the actual time of you going into the print shop, getting the print, it's probably not that much different from right. one print to 10 prints. So it kind of, that's where that, it, it doesn't really make sense to like charge maybe $100 for one print or $100 for 10 prints. But over time, maybe you can figure it out where you know how much time it's gonna take you to do any sort of prints. And then you could kind of set up a base price for per photo based off of that or something, yeah. so. I mean, there's no real set sort of, you know, there's no rules to this, I feel like. It's just so long that you feel like you're being compensated for your time and your I, art. I think that's the and, thing. And, and you feel good about it. I, I think that's at the end of the day. It might be a good way to just look at the base cost of the print and then do a five times that cost, but then look at your time and see how much time you're putting into it because a print costs, say, five bucks, and then you charge 25 bucks for it. But if you're spending two hours editing it, editing it for the print, doing all that, frame or something, yeah, you know, shipping it or whatever, um, it Tats. might not be working yeah. it, worth it for you. So I think definitely look at your competition in your area because this is going to be different wherever you are at. See what other photographers are charging for prints. Um, yeah, I think it's about it. I mean, also yeah. sales tax where you are. I mean, when you start selling physical products, that could become a thing depending on where. So look those rules up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, just as long as you feel like you're getting what you're worth. Yeah. Cool. Belinda, hopefully that helped you out. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video helped you out, whether you were the one asking this question or if you found this video and it was something that you were interested in. These are the kinds of questions and photography basics that we cover in our photography courses and in our community, photography and friends, which you 
have access to whenever you enroll in one of our courses. We also have a free resource that's available for all beginner photographers over at photographyandfriends.com where you can learn all the basic skills and even advanced tips and tricks to help you become a better photographer. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.